everyone, now I'm going to do a haul for you all. I've just went to three different shops, so nothing too crazy, but I'll just show you a few things that I picked up. So, the first place I went to was Boots. Of course, the first thing that I had to pick up was some more of the Eyelure Double Lashes. So they just look like this. Super, super full. And these are number 202. These are my absolute favourite. I am obsessed with these. I wear these all the time. If I was going on a night out or anything like that, I would definitely, these are my go-to lashes. So I went in to actually get these and it was three for two mix and match across most cosmetic eyelash and nail paints, I think within boots um so of course i had to get two more things so the two things i picked up were the other thing was the bourgeois mascara in volumizer looks like this and this is one of these one step two step mascaras we have this on today i really like this mascara i don't know if it would be one of my favorite mascaras the first wand is quite flimsy seems kind of cheap not doesn't really do too much in my opinion but as I said I've just got this so I've only literally tried it about 10 minutes ago so I'm not too sure I'll keep on going with this but I've heard absolutely great things which was the reason why I picked this one up the next thing I got was something that I've heard a little bit about but I haven't heard too many raves Bourjois bronzing powder for face and body and this is in a spray see there and I hear a lot of people really like chocolate bronzer by Bourjois it smells like chocolate I have never tried that one but I have heard really good things about it so that was why I was just interested in trying something like this just for something a little bit different I like to be quite tanned as I'm sure you've noticed so I thought this might be good just to pop on my neck or just over my face something like that if I'm feeling a little bit pale it feels sort of cakey and powdery I mean I put a little bit on my hands just to try out it does make like quite a lot of difference like you can definitely notice you are more tanned after using it but I don't know whether you need sort of one of those spray tan boots. If I was spraying it on my face I would definitely want to get every ounce of my hair out of the way it would definitely definitely stay in your hair so maybe not the best for blondes but definitely something I'm going to try out. Let me know if you have tried this or what you think or products like this. So that was the three for two things I got. The next thing I got was St. Moritz. Um, I'm obsessed with St. Moritz. I use this religiously. So I just needed some new bottles. I use it in the dark colour. If you can just see there. I absolutely love it. I have a tanning video on if you want to check that out. If you want to check out my tanning routine. I'm also just quickly going to mention my lipstick that I am wearing. And it is a Frost by MAC and it's in the colour Bombshell. And this was a, re a recent purchase and I get a lot of questions about what I have on my lips. So today I just have that with um, NARS Turkish Delight on top. The next thing I got was kind of by accident and this was from Hotel Chocolate or Hotel Chocolat. And I actually went in to get one of the dipping platters. You can get white chocolate dark chocolate milk chocolate little pots of chocolate that you melt and then you get biscuits and marshmallows and banana or whatever little things that you can dip in i went in to get that but when i went in i was kind of umming and ahhing about it and it was i think 22 pounds for chocolate and i was like i don't really want know what to do so instead i picked up something else which probably was a waste of time but i feel a bit bad showing you this because i've eaten half of it and i literally like got out of the shop and opened it because I really wanted to taste it but this was 350 so I'll just show you what it is it is a caramel and co it's white and caramel chocolate topped with caramel buttons and cinder toffee so I feel bad because I've eaten quite a lot of it but there you go I'll just move it up maybe so you can see what it looks like there's my bite mark that's not one bite that's a couple of bites just in case you think my mouth is actually that size but you get quite a decent amount for 350 but um i don't know it i wouldn't repurchase this i really like toffee but it's quite rich for me so that is that the next place i went to was lush 
and we all here on YouTube are obsessed with Lush and I am absolutely no different. So I just picked up a couple of things from Lush. I'll just get my receipt just so I can tell you what everything is and how much they were. So the first thing I picked up was Happy Blooming, soothing cherry and chamomile bath to calm and gently nourish your skin. And this one was £3.70. I don't know if Lush have put up their prices, but I really feel like they have. I'm definitely sure that like it wasn't this expensive the last time I went in. So leave me a comment, let me know have Lush put up their prices. But anyway, so this just looks like, mm, smells amazing. This just looks like this. It's got little cherries on it and it is sort of half a circle. What I do with this is I divide it up into three. You can see the three sections are outlined there where they are. So I divide this into three baths. I mean, I thought it was bad before um, for what I was paying. I still divide it up into three baths. So maybe I'll divide this one up into a few more baths to get my money's worth. But that was the first thing. I have used all these products before. These are all just repurchases, but they're things I absolutely love. So this is giving me a good indication about what I really like from Lush. The next thing I got was a Karma bubble bar, and this was £2.99. So it looks like this. Orange and pink just going through it. And I think this one is my favourite one. I absolutely love the smell of this, this bubble bar. I really... It's like orangey, citrusy, really, really fruity. I absolutely love that one. I use that all in one go. I should, I should start ruffling while I'm talking. I use that all in one go. I absolutely love, love that product. That is maybe my favorite thing from Lush. The next thing I got is a comforter. I'm sure you've all seen these. These are one of the hugest things they do in Lush. And this one was 370. And it's pink with just white swirls all the way through it. It smells, sorry, I'll stop ruffling. It smells to me like cordial. Do you know like the diluting juice? So you get like juice and then you pour water in it and then it makes juice. Anyway, diluting juice. It smells like cordial, like straight cordial. So that to me is a little bit sickly. Yeah, it's a little bit sickly, but um, I do usually get it just because I like it. I do break that up into quite large chunks. It bubbles up really, really nicely. And I just find the smell really overpowering. It's not something I would want to use the whole bar with. So I tend to split that up quite a bit. So that was all that I got from Lush. I was chatting to the guy in there and he really nicely said that they had just a couple of things that they don't really use. Some broken things and some things that are not in season anymore. So he actually gave me them, which was so nice of him. So I'll just show you what he gave me. The first is a None of Your Beeswax Lip Balm. And it's impossible to do with my nails. Oh, got it. And it just looks like this. And it's just a lip balm. And it smells just like wax, like Vaseline kind of. So I can give that a go. The next thing was Helping Hands. This is Healing Soothing Hand Cream. Makes light work of dry, sore or rough hands. And it's a little bit chalky. I think it might have been out the back for a while. So it just looks like this. And I haven't tried that yet, but I'll definitely be trying it. The next thing was so cute. And I remember these were around at Christmas time. And this was one of the little Santas. Looks like this. I'm guessing this is from the Easter collection. This is a little duck. This smells absolutely amazing. This is really, really sweet. Give me two um, like half shells that I could make into one. So the first is this half. This is a nice pink one with the orange. And this is the green one. I don't know the names of any of these. As I said, they were just lying. They were just in, that's gone everywhere. <sighs> They were just in storage or they didn't use them anymore so he just asked me would I like them so of course I said yes I would love them so I jumped at that chance and I've just got a few things to try out. Please leave me a comment let me know what your favourite things are from Lush as well. So the next shop I went to was Primark and in Ireland we call it Primark, in England they call it Primark. 
I still like Primark. So <laughs> I'm gonna just call it that. You don't need to leave me a comment saying I'm saying it wrong, whatever. That's how I say it. And the first thing I got was this jumper that I'm wearing. The only thing that's kind of annoying me about this jumper is the fact that this is really see-through here. I am wearing a skin coloured cami top underneath, so don't worry about that. Really nice scoop neck jumper with long sleeves. It does go down quite low. I really, really like this jumper. It's really soft and really warm. Anyone that knows me or is around me will know that I am always, always cold, always have the heating on, in the car, in the house, everything like that. So I'm a huge fan of jumpers. So this is just absolutely perfect. This was actually 10 pounds. There's just the little tag there. So I think for £10 this is an absolute bargain. If this was in Topshop or somewhere like that, it would definitely be a lot, lot more than that. So I, I was really happy with this. They had them in quite a few colours. So I think I might even go back and get another colour. I feel very Christmassy in this and I've got my Santa bubble bar. So I'm in the wrong season altogether. <laughs> Since I didn't actually have a summer, I think I'm just skipping straight, straight to Christmas. The next thing I got was one of these lint rollers. These are just a pound from Primark. It has little dots on it and essential if you wear black. If you have animals, I don't have any animals but I have extensions and when I brush them they shed quite a lot. So I have blonde hairs absolutely everywhere so this is just really good if you wear quite a lot of black, which I do. Some hair bobbles, these were just a pound just look like this all different colors I just mainly use the lighter colors at the end it's always really good to have and they were right at the till so it was one of those <sighs> impulse purchases next thing I got was a pair of shoes and these are the shoes these are just little brogue type shoes they have a little tiny tiny heel inside they have this really cute floral print on the inside and the tops just have the little tassels I got these in a size 6 and these were also £10 from Primark. I'm a huge fan of the pumps you can get from Primark but they wear so so quickly. I mean like 5 or 10 times and I find that I'm having to buy a new pair so I figured that these with the sole might last a little bit longer. They probably won't. Got this plain vest top. It's just a plain black vest top and it was 2 50 I absolutely live in vest tops, especially black ones, so can't really go wrong. I haven't haven't actually purchased any from Primark before, but they were $2.50, so I thought even to just throw one to get another one in white. This is slightly different style, super super thin. It looks like a vest. And this one was two pounds. So that's really cute. The next thing I got was this cardigan. So it is just a medium length cardigan with short or three quarter length sleeves. This was six pounds. But I just thought this was really cute. The button detail down the front is super cute. It has a little bit of red detail around the collar and I seem to be loving red. So that is just a really, that's just a really nice basic type of top. So it is a button up dress with a collar so it buttons right the way up to the top and it has a little collar. The sleeves are these sort of floaty, you can completely see through the sleeves and they have cuff detail on the end. Let me just, the cute little button detail on the end. The dress goes down and is tapered in by this just plain black belt around the middle and goes floaty. Hopefully you can see that out. It's completely see-through so I got, well this actually came with it, just a long sort of vest type in the same colour. I got that to wear to work, I think it would look quite cute and if it was a warmish, yeah, if it's a warmish day in the office or something like that or moving around, going from place to place, it would just be something really easy to throw on and it'd be really comfortable as well. The next thing I got was just a black blazer, this is also just for work, it has the little button detail on the sleeve. It's pink inside which of course was absolutely gorgeous but I got this because it was just £10 and I mean it's not 
it's not super high quality, it's not the best quality out there. I mean, you could spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a really nice suit jacket, but I usually tend to not wear a suit jacket all day. I'll have it on in the morning or when I'm leaving, and then I, ha I just have a shirt or a blouse or something on other than that. So um, it's something I'm just gonna throw on, and if I wear it for two weeks and I need another one, who cares, right? It's 10 pound. The next two things I got were also for work, so these might be a little bit boring to some of you, but, this is just a really cute little pink shirt. It has cute little bubble detail on the shoulder. It's short sleeved and it's fitted around the waist here. And of course it's pink, had to be pink, right? And this was just six pounds. So that's just, it's in their basic range. So that's just really cute. The next thing I got was just a pair of trousers. These are just gray, long flared, pinstripe trousers. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but the pinstripe is actually baby pink. <laughs> uh, seriously, I need to grow up. And these were just nine pounds. So another just basic that I can wear or not wear, and I'm not going to split too many hairs over the fact that I haven't worn them and I've bought them. Oh, I was just about to stop filming, if you could believe that. I was just sat here on my computer looking at my emails, and then I remembered one of the most important purchases that I wanted to show you guys, which is, of course, I had to put it on because it doesn't have the same impact. My new favorite hoodie. I mean, this is maybe even pushed, maybe even pushed Jack Wills out of the, we'll leave that one. And this is just this super cute My Little Pony. I mean, enough said, right? Enough said. My Little Pony hoodie, and it says, Daddy, I, I'm trying to read it upside down, how awkward. It says, Daddy, I want a pony. And it's this super, super cute yellow hoodie. It, of course, is a hoodie, so it has a hood. And it has these little drawstrings, and I think this is just absolutely perfect. So, obviously, I'm just standing up so you can see the hoodie. So it just looks like this. It's slightly thinner than um, normal hoodies. It's more like, like a, just a cottony, it's not fleece or anything inside, so it's just perfect for just lounging around the house, or I've worn this, I've worn it out, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> but this is from a website called truffleshuffle.com, and I'm sure you all know their website, they do some absolutely amazing stuff on there, and um, I went on and I was just looking around, I actually seen this hoodie on Keris, Karis X, I think her, emails, her name is here on YouTube. I've seen this hoodie in one of her videos and then i seen it again on Truffle Shuffle and I just, ha I just had to get it. I actually emailed a photo of it to my dad and he absolutely loved it. He's a huge fan of the Ramones and bands like that, proper retro bands. So he went on Truffle Shuffle as well and he got quite a few things on there. And then my brother got on, but literally there's just something on there for everyone. So if you're into cute little retro themes, My Little Pony, Mario, all things like that seriously just go on the website and check it out you will not you'll you'll not be let down it's absolutely amazing thanks so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye bye